Today I am here with the Steinway O piano. Now I'm not sure that I've ever done a video on a Steinway O, but I particularly like the sound of this one and the way it plays, so I thought I would do a video on it. Now this is an older model Steinway O. I believe it's maybe from around the 1940s. There's no tag on the piano saying when they were made, so that's only a guess, and if you guys have any better ideas, let me know, but my guess is from the, the 1940s era. And what's kind of interesting is there's actually a large decal on the center of the piano talking about the various royalties that have purchased or had Steinways commissioned for them, including uh, William III the German Emperor and Alfonso, the 13th King of Spain, and others as well. There's a list of 10, and then it also says there's others as well. So that's kind of interesting. And uh, it looks like there's new action parts and also new dampers as well. Probably new, just new damper felts. I'm not sure they've replaced the dampers. Um, and the strings have also been redone. But the, uh, the piano plays really, really nicely, and it has a really great sound to it. And uh, it's really wonderful. As you can see, it's a very small piano as well. The O is a very small model. Uh, Steinway piano, but it plays very nicely and it has a really great sound to it. Uh, what's really nice about it is the sustain up here in the treble. It's not the loudest you've ever heard, but it actually does sustain for a very, very long time and it has a nice little sound to it. Another thing that's nice about this piano is since it is old, it has ivory keys, which is a really, really nice uh, feature for us pianists. They have a much nicer feel than plastic keys do, and uh, they're overall just a really great thing to have on a piano. They feel really nice. You can also see the, uh, the thin little Steinway & Sons logo there, which also can give an indication of what era this piano was from. I've seen that on pianos before, and it probably is from about the 1940s or 1950s, thereabouts, And because uh, I've seen that logo on pianos before from that era. So let me give you a quick little demonstration of this piano. I'm going to play uh, my original song that I wrote to help test out pianos. It starts off in the treble and kind of works its way down into the uh, tenor of the piano, and uh, I think it sounds really nice on this piano, so hopefully you enjoy it as well. piano has a very mellow, warm sound, which is really great for playing soft and slow pieces like that. I think the bass in this piano is surprisingly good. Of course, if I were to play the very lowest notes, it would have a smaller piano sound. And of course, this is only a Steinway O, as you can see. It's a very small piano. It's maybe about six feet or so. But even down to this note, this low F here, I think for such a small piano, it has a pretty great sound. Probably even that E, -E I think, especially if you play an octave, sounds nice. That is not bad for a really small piano. Not bad. It starts to have a little bit of a smaller piano, kind of like that distorted kind of sound. But even all the way down to B flat zero here. Not bad for such a really, really tiny piano. And uh, overall, it has a really nice sound to it. And uh, hopefully, that comes through on the recorder. It has a really mellow sound to it. So, it's a really nice little piano. Now, one reason that I believe this piano comes from the 1940s or maybe the 1950s is because of the design of this plate. Now, well, pianos before this, like from the 1890s and the early 1900s and thereabout, had um, a different design um, porthole, and they also had more writing on the harp. They had these nubs around the portholes that were like little uh, rounded cones that would go all the way around the porthole, and they'd be on each porthole. Whereas this one here has a slightly more modern design. There's more writing on the, on the harp. As you can see, there's some here, and there's also some behind the camera, but there's no um, nubs and little cones around the porthole, which kind of makes me think that this would be a bit newer than like a 1910 you know, or 1920s piano. I'm going to guess it's like from the 1940s. Also that logo, I believe, has been used during the 1950s. And there's some of that other writing down there at the base of the, uh, the harp. You can see, let's see if I can read it sideways here. It says Steinway Foundry Casting, uh, Tubular Metallic Action Frame Patent. That's what it says. You could probably read that really quickly, but I was reading it sideways, so I had to figure out what it said there. Then you also have the Steinway & Sons uh, Liar logo in the middle as well. Very cool. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video on this 1940s to 1950s era um, Steinway O. I've never done a video on a Steinway O, but I thought this was a particularly good example and it had a really nice sound to it. And so I thought I'd do a little video uh, doing a review on it. I don't think I mentioned the action on this piano. It has a bit of a substantial feel, but it's quite, quite well regulated and it's very consistent and it seems to do everything that I'd want it to do. 
So if you want to go check out my channel, I've got lots of other cool piano videos on there. I've got videos on uh, Hamburg Steinways, New York Steinways, virtually all sizes, except some of the smaller ones. I don't have like an S or an L, I don't think, on there yet, but I've got an L coming out soon that's a really nice piano. So if you want to uh, ch check out that video, you might want to think about subscribing, and if you do, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.